This new magical removal tool is absolutely insane to say the least. You have already used the spot healing brush tool for decades, right? And to remove anything with the spot healing brush tool, you know what to do. Let us say we want to remove this table. We simply paint over it. You want to make sure everything is properly covered and this is the result you get. As you can see, there's a lot of breakpoints, a lot of artifacts here. So that's the result with the spot healing brush tool. Let's save that as a snapshot. So we just opened up history and we click on this button to create a snapshot. This is the spot healing. Wait for it. One of the more recently introduced tools that we use time and again is the content aware fill. Let's try that as well. Let's use the polygonal lasso tool and make a selection around the table. And now let's go to edit content aware fill. Let's keep it at defaults for now and hit OK. So that is the result we get. Control or Command D, by the way, to deselect. That's the result for the content aware fill. Let's save it as a history state as well. Let's go to history. Click on this button, content aware fill. Now it is time for us to test the new tool. Sorry for the wait. First of all, let's get back to how it was by clicking on the first one in history. This is our original image. You will find this new tool, the remove tool inside of the healing group. So click and hold. And here is the magical tool. Let us select that. And similarly, all you have to do is just paint. Let's see what it does. There you go. That is just insanely amazing. Now there's a problem right here, very slight problem. However, if you just paint here, even that is fixed. Let's paint one more time. Fixed, this is just on a crazy level. Let us compare. Let's save it as a history state as well. This is the remove tool. So here you have the spot healing content aware and the remove tool. This is crazy on very many levels. Now, before you run to test this feature, know this feature is only available in the beta version of Photoshop. Now you can get the public beta. Here's how to do it. So all you need to do is to open your Creative Cloud application, go to beta apps section and right next to Photoshop beta, click on the install button. Once you have installed it, like I have, you will see the open button. Now do know that if you're using the Captain Jack Sparrow version of Photoshop, you might not be able to have access to this feature. Let's push it a little bit. Can we remove this watch? Let's try that. Simply paint over it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it created that line perfectly and this is just insane. Now these shadows should not be there. They came in because of the watch. So I'm just gonna paint over it and even that is fixed. Even the repair work after painting, let's say it didn't get an area right, it does it perfectly. And you don't have to even sample from any place. So Meredith Stotzner from Adobe wrote about this feature, good friend of mine. And she says that fences or edges are seamlessly completed. By the way, I'll link up this article in the description. Let's see how true is that. We'll try to remove the subject and keep the fence intact. Let's also use this opportunity to learn about a few features. The first one is sample all layers. It gives you non-destructive abilities. Let us say you created a new layer and if this was unchecked and if you tried to paint, it won't do anything. It cannot do anything as this layer has nothing in it. But if you allow it to sample all the layers by checking this, it will not only sample all the layers but fill it only in that particular layer, making it absolutely non-destructive. So take a look. This is gone and this is perfectly gone and the filled area is on a separate layer. The other feature right here is remove after each stroke. When that is turned on, let's say I want to repair this area, I paint over it and when I let go, it just fixes that. When that is not turned on, it allows you to pick up the brush, continue painting and then apply it later. For example, I want to fix this and also I want this area to be painted. Let's say you need a couple brush strokes to do it perfectly and not let it do in every step of the way. Just fully paint it. Once you're fully satisfied with the entire painting area, you click on this tick button and it will remove all of them together. And it still did a fantastic job. Now there are a couple of areas that it didn't get right. Don't worry about it. Repairing works fantastic with this tool. I'm gonna check that back in. Paint, gone. And you wanna fix this, just paint over it. Fixed. See how perfect that is. Now this area is looking odd. Painted. Fixed. Similarly right here in these areas and it just works. So let us tell Photoshop to rethink this area. I'm going to paint a little more to give it a little more headroom. It's still not picking it. It's making it seamless. So let's start painting from right here so that it gets an idea. And now we paint again. And now we paint a little more and a little more and a little more right there. And there you go, even that is taken care of. Something that would have been impossible early on. 
rest of the areas are done. Let's click on the tick button right here. And even that is gone perfectly. Now this area looks weird. And if you want to fix it, it works magically. So if you just paint over here, the line continues and that's the best part. The line doesn't continue here. Paint over there, paint over there. It continues that line. And we're going to paint a little bit right over here as well. See, it straightens up all of these lines and like magic. Now let's push it a little more to the extreme. So in this case, here we have our subject and here we have a net. Now we all know how to remove a net and that would be very easy to do because the net is so thin. However, let us say we wanted to remove the subject which is behind the net. Let's see if it does that. And if it does it perfectly, I'm going to stand up right here on my chair and clap. Let's see, moment of truth. Let us apply it. Let's get ready. Well, it deserves a clap while I'm sitting, but it didn't do that perfectly. Still, it's incredible to say the least, because have a look at the line. There's a slight bump. If we paint over it again, that will be fixed. Let's tick it for now. And let's check this box. Remove after each stroke for small repairs. So let's paint right over here as well. See, even that is fixed. Right here, these lines are weird. So let's paint over it. Let's see if Photoshop can fix that. Well, this is good. Now, it's not perfect. It creates a super thick line, but look at the technology. Let's paint right over here. Well, it's good. It's okay. Better than nothing. There is room for improvement, but this is definitely a revolution. Now let us talk about some drawbacks. Now before we do, we have to understand that this is in beta. This is for you to test. Adobe is testing it and they have not finalized it. So maybe this will help them, maybe not. Maybe I'm just being stupid, I don't know. Let's see. The first problem I see with this tool is that let's say I want to remove the painting without affecting the hat right there. Now of course I can make a selection by using the quick selection tool and make a selection of the outside, all right? And then I can use this tool right here, the remove tool, paint over the painting. It won't leak because of the selection. But even when we have made the selection, it will do something. Let's press Ctrl or Command D after it processes and have a look. It created this extension on the hat. And if you didn't make a selection and tried to carefully tread through, giving it a little bit of space, even then, it will mess up. It won't get the hat perfectly right. There you go. You see these around the edge. So for those kind of complicated situations where two objects are attached together, you have to use something like the content aware fill. Because if you're using the content aware fill, it makes it super easy. Let's choose the polygonal lasso tool and make a selection of this painting. As easy as that. And then let's subtract the hat by simply using the quick selection tool. Hold the Alt key or the Option key to subtract and it's perfectly subtracted. Then we will go to edit, content aware fill, and we'll tell Photoshop not to sample from the hat areas. So right now I know it looks crazy like an abstract art. Let's subtract this area. We don't want it to sample from here. And there you go. This is a perfect one. Hit okay. Now there are a couple areas we need to fix, but take a look around the edge. This just works. So what do I feel about this? This is an incredibly revolutionary new feature. And this will definitely change Photoshop forever. Couple of things we have to fix. Number one, having the ability to work with it when two objects are attached. Number two, if we can have the same technology for content aware fill, this will change the world. Or in other words, have a way to apply it in the form of a selection so that we don't have to sit and fill through. I hope you enjoy playing with this feature. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any ideas for improvements, let us know in the comments as well. Adobe reads that. Thank you so much for watching again. If this video helped you, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Special thanks to all of these nice, incredible, amazing people for helping keep Pix and Perfect free for everybody forever. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.